Introduction to Cloud Computing Cloud Computing in a Nutshell When plugging an electric appliance into an outlet, we care neither how electric power is generated nor how it gets to that outlet. This is possible because electricity is virtualized, that is, it is readily available from a wall socket that hides power generation stations and a huge distribution grid. When extended to information technologies, this concept means delivering useful functions while hiding how their internals work. Computing itself, to be considered fully virtualized, must allow computers to be built from distributed components such as processing, storage, data, and software resources. One technologies such as cluster, grid, and now cloud computing have all aimed at allowing access to large amounts of computing power in a fully virtualized manner by aggregating resources and offering a single system view. In addition, an important aim of these technologies has been delivering computing as a utility. Utility computing describes a business model for on-demand delivery of computing power, consumers pay providers based on usage, pay, as you go, similar to the way in which we currently obtain services from traditional public utility services such as water, electricity, gas, and telephony. Cloud computing has been coined as an umbrella term to describe a category of sophisticated on-demand computing services initially offered by commercial providers, such as Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. It denotes a model on which a computing infrastructure is viewed as a cloud, from which businesses and individuals access applications from anywhere in the world on demand too. The main principle behind this model is offering computing, storage, and software as a service. Many practitioners in the commercial and academic spheres have attempted to de-northeast exactly what cloud computing is and what unique characteristics it presents. Via ET Alabama 2 have denetted as follows, cloud is a parallel and distributed computing system consisting of a collection of interconnected and virtual asset computers that are dynamically provisioned and presented as own or more uni at computing resources based on service level agreements, SLA established through negotiation between the service provider and consumers. Vicuro ET Alabama 3 have stated clouds are a large pool of easily usable and accessible virtualized resources, such as hardware, development platforms and slash or services. These resources can be dynamically reconguered to adjust to a variable load, scale, allowing also for an optimum resource utilization. This pool of resources is typically exploited by a pay-per-use model in which guarantees are offered by the infrastructure provider by means of customized service level agreements. A recent McKinsey & Co. report for claims that clouds are hardware-based services offering compute, network, and storage capacity where hardware management is highly abstracted from the buyer, buyers incur infrastructure costs as variable OPEX, and infrastructure capacity is highly elastic. A report from the University of California Berkeley 5 summarized the key characteristics of cloud computing as, 1, the illusion of in-night computing resources, 2, the elimination of an upfront commitment by cloud users, and, 3, the ability to pay for use as needed, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, 6 Carrick, terrorizes cloud computing as, a pay-per-use model for enabling available, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of congruable computing resources, for example networks, servers, storage, applications, services, that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. In a more generic definition, Armbrust ET Alabama 5D Northeast Cloud as the data center hardware and software that provide services. Similarly, Sotomayor ET Alabama 7 point out that cloud is more often used to refer to the IT infrastructure deployed on an infrastructure as a service provider data center. While there are countless other definitions, there seems to be common characteristics between the most notable ones listed above, which a cloud should have, I, pay poor use no ongoing commitment, utility prices, 2, elastic capacity and the illusion of in-night resources, 3, self-service interface, and, 4, resources that are abstracted or virtualized. In addition to raw computing and storage, 
cloud computing providers usually offer a broad range of software services. They also include APIs and development tools that allow developers to build seamlessly scalable applications upon their services. The ultimate goal is allowing customers to run their everyday IT infrastructure in the cloud. A lot of hype has surrounded the cloud computing area in its infancy, often considered the most sine can't switch in the IT world since the advent of the Internet aid. In midst of such hype, a great deal of confusion arises when trying to de-northeast what cloud computing is and which computing infrastructures can be termed as clouds. Indeed, the long-held dream of delivering computing as a utility has been realized with the advent of cloud computing 5. However, over the years, several technologies have matured and Sine Cantley contributed to make cloud computing viable. In this direction, this introduction tracks the roots of cloud computing by surveying the main technological advancements that Sine Cantley contributed to the advent of this emerging ELD. It also explains concepts and developments by categorizing and comparing the most relevant R&D efforts in cloud computing, especially public clouds, management tools, and development frameworks. The most Sine Cant practical cloud computing realizations are listed, with special focus on architectural aspects and innovative technical features. 18.2.1 Business Bainy TS of Cloud Computing There are some clear business Bainy TS to building applications in the cloud. A few of these are listed here. Almost zero upfront infrastructure investment. If you have to build a large, scale system, it may cost a fortune to invest in real estate, physical security, hardware, racks, servers, routers, backup power supplies, hardware management, power management, cooling, and operations personnel. Because of the high upfront costs, the project would typically require several rounds of management approvals before the project could even get started. Now, with utility-style cloud computing, there is no XED cost or startup cost. Just in time infrastructure. In the past, if your application became popular and your systems or your infrastructure did not scale, you became a victim of your own success. Conversely, if you invested heavily and did not get popular, you became a victim of your failure. By deploying applications in the cloud with just-in-time self-provisioning, you do not have to worry about pre-procuring capacity for large-scale systems these increase agility, lowers risk, and lowers operational cost because EO scale only is EO grow and only pay for what you use. More efficient resource utilization. System administrators usually worry about procuring hardware, when they run out of capacity, and higher infrastructure utilization, when they have excess and idle capacity. With the cloud, they can manage resources more effectively and efficiently by having the applications request and relinquish resources on demand. Usage-based costing. With utility-style pricing, you are billed only for the infrastructure that has been used. You are not paying for allocated infrastructure but instead for unused infrastructure. This adds a new dimension to cost savings. You can see immediate cost savings, some, times as early as your next month's bill, when you deploy an optimization patch to update your cloud application. For example, if a caching layer can reduce your data requests by 70%, the savings begin to accrue immediately and you see the reward right in the next bill. Moreover, if you are building platforms on the top of the cloud, you can pass on the same executable, variable usage-based cost structure to your own customers. Reduced time to market. Parallelization is one of the great ways to speed up processing. If one compute-intensive or data-intensive job that can be run in parallel takes 500 hours to process on one machine, with cloud architectures one, it would be possible to spawn and launch 500 instances and process the same job in one hour. Having available an elastic infrastructure provides the application with the ability to exploit parallelization in a cost-effective manner reducing time to market. 18.3 Cloud Concepts The cloud reinforces some old concepts of building highly scalable Internet architectures 15 and introduces some new concepts that entirely change the way applications are built and deployed. Hence, when you progress from concept to implementation, 
you might get the feeling that everything's changed, yet nothing's different. The cloud changes several processes, pat, turns, practices, and philosophies and reinforces some traditional service, oriented architectural principles that you have learned because they are even more important than before. In this section, you will see some of those new cloud concepts and reiterated SOA concepts. Traditional applications were built with some preconceived mindsets that made economic and architectural sense at the time they were developed. The cloud brings some new philosophies that you need to understand, and these are discussed below.